Control Hub provides device setting capabilities, allowing WebEx calling administrators to customize configuration options for Cisco MPP, ATA, and DECT devices. Most device settings are configurable at the organization, location, or device level, allowing an administrator to enable or disable device features and set the needed parameters. Please note, there is no device level option available for DECT devices. Device settings are configured for the organization level within Control Hub. Keep in mind that changing settings at the organization level apply to all locations. From the Customer View in Control Hub, locate Services and select Calling. Then select Service Settings from the top navigation menu. Scroll to the Device section and click Configure Default Device Settings. From here, you can use the organization's default settings or customize settings from the Locations page. Next, select the device type you'd like to modify, MPP, ATA, or DECT, and choose the Settings Override option for each. It's important to note that misconfigured devices on certain device settings could cause a loss of contact with the network, requiring you to revert your changes and do a local factory reset of the devices to bring them back online. A warning is displayed in Control Hub for these specified settings. Please note, when there's a difference between settings, the device will use the last setting sent to it. Therefore, it's best to work from the top down when configuring device settings. Start first with organization settings, then location settings, and finally, individual device settings. Once you've completed your changes, click Review Changes to review your modifications. You'll see a notice confirming the number of devices that will be affected within your organization. Once the changes start to process, you can view the progress on the Tasks page. Note, additional changes can't be made to the device settings until your current settings changes complete. Once reviewed, click Start Processing. Your settings changes will show background tasks running until your update is complete. Once the process completes, you'll need to resync the devices from Control Hub for the changes to take effect. Optionally, you can have users resync their devices from the device settings menu.